What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to record your computer screen using the Elgato Game Catcher. That way you can record whatever you have on screen, which I just said, right? And you can capture gameplay like Minecraft or whatever game you might play on the, on the computer. And you will only need three things from the Elgato Game Capture. That's it. And I'll tell you how to set up the sound in the video. The first item you're going to need is the Elgato Game Capture yourself. I'm pretty sure you might need this. The next thing you're going to need is a USB cable. It came with the Elgato Game Capture. It has a, a tiny end like this and a big end like that. The next thing you're going to need is the HDMI cable that also came with the Elgato Game Capture or you can use the one you, you own if you feel that obligated to use it. But it looks like this, two really big fat ends and it's thick and it's, it's an HDMI cable. You can get that beautiful HD color that you want to record whatever you have on your computer screen, whatever that may be. So now let's get into the setup. Alrighty, now for starters, take the Elgato Game Capture and the HDMI cable, and you're going to want to plug the HDMI cable and the HDMI in the slot, just like so. Now, after you do that, you're going to want to get your USB cable, put this down for a sec, get that out. You're going to want to get the tiny end of it, like this, and plug that right into the USB part in the Elgato Game Capture, so now you should have something looking like that. Now, after you've completed your thing looking like this. You're going to want to take the fat end of the USB cord from the Elgato Game Capture and plug that right into the computer, just like so. Next, you're going to want to take the HDMI cable end of the Elgato Game Capture, like this, also another fat end, and you're going to want to plug that right into the HDMI part of your computer or laptop. I have a laptop here, and your computer screen will black out like that for a second, but it will come back. Don't worry. Now, after you have everything plugged in, you're going to want to open the Elgato Game Capture software. It'll say, wait one moment, please. And then you should come up with something like this. But if you don't have something like this, let me just clarify. Let me just clarify something for you real quick. You're going to want to make sure you have your thing on other. None of, none of these, not Xbox 360. You're not trying to power an Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 or an iPad or Wii U or any of those things. Just other. And then you should press OK. You want to make sure you have it in standard. Make sure it's in HD 1080p, the beautiful, the beautiful colorness of the 1080p-ness. Yes, yes, yes. And then make sure it's set to the best setting. And uh, keep. you can just keep all these standards, these uh, options just like this. Then you want to press OK. I don't have that right now because I didn't change any of my settings. But you will get something extremely, really trippy like this. But don't, don't mind that at all. All you have to do is press the record button and it'll show up just like normal. See, watch what happens when I minimize this and then I go right back into the Elgato. It comes just back, just like this. So that is how it will be recorded. You don't have to worry about anything like that. So you should be fine. So now, I know you guys are asking this, but what about that audio? Because you cannot pick up that audio very well. But I'm going to tell you how to do that right now. You're going to want to download the program Audacity, and once you do, I'll put a link in the description for this program as well, and, but once you do, you'll have something coming up like this, but for a sec, we're going to minimize that, go to the right hand corner of your page, and click on sounds, and go to the tab named recording devices, and after you do that, you're going to want to right click. And make sure you have show disabled devices checked. And if you do, then you're ready to go to the next step. Right click on stereo mix. Go to properties. And make sure you have use this device. And, and in parentheses it will say enable. You should have it like that. If it isn't like that, if it says don't use this device, change it to use this device. Or else this won't work. But once you do that, just click OK. And then click OK again. And then you can pop back Audacity right back up. And what you're going to do, you want to go to this microphone icon right here. Go to the right of that. Uh, you click this drop down menu. You will have three or I don't know how many options you may have. It depends on whatever you have connected for recording devices. And you're going to want to click on the stereo mix option, which that's what I have right here. And after you do that, you can click play. And you'll see now that my voice isn't recording on this. But the audio from uh, 
the computer is. So I'll minimize that and I'll prove that to you guys by opening this up and clicking the sound icon. See how, see how up there how the levels are changing? The sound is actually picking up. Now this is the only way I can record the audio because I don't know. Elgato is kind of silly and then didn't allow that function to happen. So you can record this by pressing the big red button and then go open Audacity and click record again especially if you're doing something that requires uh, audio and then once you do that you can uh, get an editing program such I such like I have like Sony Vegas here and after you do that you can combine the two clips together and line them up so that the audio and the video are synced up together to make the video pretty cool and nice so that is the gist of it if you guys would like me to go more in detail on how to combine both audio and video together and lining them up, if you're not exactly sure how to do that, just shoot me a, a comment below saying, hey, can you go more in depth on this? And I will. But for a simple wrap up, use Elgato to get the video picture, download Audacity, and make sure you're using the real take stereo or stereo mix the stereo mix uh, option for recording and all you gotta do is press the, the uh, red button up here to record and that will record any audio that happens on the computer and then just take it into a, a video editing program so you can even use Movie Maker and uh, combine them combine the audio and the video together and put them aligned so that the video sounds normal because if it isn't aligned then it sounds weird so I hope this helped you if it did, don't forget to leave it a like and even subscribe if you would like. And that is all, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.